Hello and welcome to the 29th video in this series of programming Chess Engine in C. Unfortunately, the, I made yet another error in, I think I'm up to three now, uh, in the end of the last video. I corrected the code that's available for download, but when I made the structure of move list, I typed actually S underscore moves with an S on the end like this rather than move. And then when I, at the start of preparing for this video, ran make, I got a whole load of errors, obviously. So I'm sorry about that, uh, but like I said, the code for chapter 28 is okay when you download it, or maybe if you're following along, you actually spotted that yourself. And lesson learned, I'll run make at the end of every video from now on, without assuming that my scrappily type code is actually correct. Okay, this video, we're going to take a quite quick sidestep from the generate moves function, because I said at the end of the last video that we were going to look at quickly putting some asserts in, validation. Well, I decided actually, in preparation for this, it might be worth doing one video on this very quickly. I've added a file called validate.c with some functions inside here, which I'll talk through in a minute. And in the make file, I've added validate.c onto the make file as well. So let's see what we have in validate.c here. And I've already written these in because they're not very difficult. But basically, all these files, uh, functions, sorry, return an integer, a 1 or a 0. So if we then type, for example, with the square on board, assert, and then square on board, and whatever square we're looking at, if the square is actually on the board, this function will re here will return a 1, which means the assert will, is fine. However, if the square is equal to off board, so it's not on the board, then it will return an ought, and the assert will fail. So it's a very simple principle, but it just allows us, in the case of the square here, to check that the square that we expect to be as part of our 64 square array here is actually one of those. I've got the same for the side, when we expect it to be white or black. For file and rank, I've got it the same. 0 is the same as rank 1 or file A, and 7 is the same as rank 8 or file H. Piece valid empty says that our piece value is greater than or equal to empty, less than or equal to black king, and piece valid is the same but without the empty, so white pawn to black king. So they're just five very simple functions which I'll leave on the screen for a moment so you can type them out, which allow us to use in conjunction with the assert macro just to check that the arguments to our functions are indeed correct, because most of these items are often used for indexing arrays. And past experience tells me all of the bugs and problems are usually related to incorrect indexing in arrays, or indeed outside the arrays. So all that remains there actually is to copy and paste the definitions into defs.h, like so, with an extern and an int. And now I'm going to save all, and I'm going to run make, just to make absolutely sure that this makes, and it does. And what we can do now is put in first of our certs. Now, because I want to try and keep this whole series as short as possible, I'm not going to put too many in, only where we really majorly need to check. And in this case, it's in the attack.c that I want to have some checks. And I've already prepared some here. And I'm going to copy those and paste them in. And they're going at the top here. And what we're essentially doing is saying, OK, the square attack function is called, saying, is square sq attacked? by side on board pos. So I'm just checking that the square is indeed on the board, otherwise we're going to have problems. I'm checking here that the side is valid, that we've either got white or black, because we're using an else here. So we're saying if the side isn't white, then we're assuming that it's black. So let's check that we do have white or black. And then I'm running our checkboard function also on the position which, you're, which we went through in a video some time ago. So now I've pasted that in and saved it, I'm going to make it again to make sure it makes, and it does, and good, everything is looking tickety-boo. Okay, so that's it then for this video. In the next video, now we've got our asserts, we'll start getting on with the generate move generator. Thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, uh, criticisms, welcome on YouTube.